Okay. John chapter 7. Uh, <clears throat> there's, if you've been studying the lessons by now, you've seen real clearly that uh, there's no denying that uh, Jesus can be a controversial topic. I think that's actually the title of the lesson uh, for John chapter 7. And um, one of the most ridiculous things, if you observe life, the older you get, I guess you do that, is uh, people that hate somebody but can't quite figure out why they hate that person. Uh, you know, any it can be family scenario, race scenarios, ethnic scenarios. I don't know. You just say, I just don't like that person. I can't put a finger on. Well, when it came to Jesus, uh, there was a reason they hated him. Uh, and that was the fact that they just could not prove him wrong. And he simpler, he always um, uh, contradicted uh, their religion, the, the Pharisees. Uh, they were all about themselves, whereas Jesus is all about God. Um, and and, and <clears throat> there's a verse in the book of Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 talking about Jesus. It says, he went about doing good. Uh, you'll not find any evil thing that Jesus did. But in this text, it actually says that men hated him. Uh, for what? Uh for the miracles, for the signs, for the wonders, for the feeding, for the, what, what did they hate him for? It wound up getting him uh, put on the cross, but uh, what did Jesus do? Ask yourself the question, what did Jesus do that got him crucified? You know what the answer is? Good. See, the Bible makes it real clear that when you do good, people that don't do good don't like you. Why? Because your good points out their bad. And Jesus was the only absolutely good, perfect person. And the people that rejected him, they had to find some way to malign him or ruin him or talk bad about him without a ounce of proof. Hey, I won't babble anymore. Take a look and see. Take a look and see for yourself. I hope you do the lesson. I hope it's a blessing to you. If you have a question or comment, feel free to down below or you're welcome to email as well.